مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم Welcome again to our gateway to Arabic series. We continue to analyze our book five. We're now on page 45. Now, today's lesson is going to be uh, analyzing the conjugation of complex verb. Yes, complex verbs. And the definition of complex verb is those verbs whose first and third root letters are weak. For instance, you have wow at the beginning and the ya at the end. That's a complex verb. How do we do that? And in Arabic it's called al-fi'lu, al-mu'tal, al-lafif. And they are subdivided into two groups. The first group is split complex verb which means in Arabic الفعل المعتل اللفيف المفروق so we split the two weak letters we put one at the beginning and one at the end and we sandwich the good letter in the middle such as وفا let's try that وفا you can see wow at the beginning and the alif maqsura you see at the end is standing for ya. Okay, wafa means he fulfilled. Wafa, he fulfilled. How do we say she fulfilled? Fulfillment of maybe promises or something. She fulfilled would be wafat. Ya which is the third root letter, has been removed. Wafat. Similar to what we did in the Anarchus last lesson. So, Wafa, he fulfilled. Wafat, she fulfilled. To say two men fulfilled, we will say Wafaya with the Alif. And that's Alif indicating that we are talking about duo masculine wafaya equivalent of that in the two men and uh, two women uh, fulfilled would be wafata again we maintain the removal of the third root letter the alif you see there is the same alif in wafaya to indicate we are speaking about two people so, wafa, wafat, wafaya, wafata. To say three men or more fulfilled would be wafau. Wafau. Here we have removed the ya, the original ya, which is the third root letter that has been deleted. And we have wau jama out there. Wafau. To say three women or more fulfilled would be Wafaina. Wafaina. That ya, that's the original ya, and we put sukun on it as usual. Whenever you speak about uh, three or more women in the past tense, the third root letter needs to carry sukun. Wafaina. And that's nono neswa to indicate feminine plural. So that table of the third person will be Wafa, that's he, Wafat, she, Wafaya, two men fulfilled, Wafata, two women fulfilled, Wafao, three or more men fulfilled, and Wafaina, three or more women fulfilled. Let's now turn to the second person, Al Mukhatab meaning you were speaking directly to them. You, male, singular, would be wafei, and then we add ta. It's the same rule. Anytime you are addressing uh, people in front of you, in the past tense, in Arabic, the third root letter need to carry sukun. And thereafter, just add ta for you, singular, male, and t for you, singular female 
tumor for you, two of you male, and the same tumor for two of you female. Tom for three or more of you male, and tuna for three or more of you female. That's all you have to do. Now let's uh, apply that using the uh, wafa. We know ya is the third, so we say wafa, and then we say ta. You singular male fulfilled. You singular female fulfilled will be wafa and then t. Wafa t. Two of you male, you fulfilled. We say wafa and then tuma. And two of you women, you will say wafa again tuma. And three or more of you men, fulfilled, we say wafa tum. And three or more of you female fulfill wafei tutna. So the table is wafei ta, wafei ti, wafei tuma, wafei tuma, wafei tum, wafei tunna. Okay. <laughs> the first person, however, is no, it's not uh, based on gender. It's the same. A man will say wafei tu. A woman also will say wafei tu. We, two or millions of us, will say wafei na with long alif, regardless of gender. Wafei na. That is the past tense of wafa conjugation done. Now let's move to the present tense. The present tense of wafa, certain point is yefi. Yefi, he fulfills. Yefi, he fulfills. She fulfills will be tefi. Start with ta. So yefi for he and tefi for she. Two men fulfill yefiani. No more template. Yefiani. And two women fulfill tefiani. Three or more men fulfill will say yefuna. Yefuna. Ya is been removed. The third root letter is gone. And three or more women fulfill will be Yefina. Lengthening in ya, which is the third root, and is sakina, and is a sukun. Yefina. The table now is Yefi, Tefi. Yefiani, Tefiani. Yefuna, Yefina. Second person in the uh, present tense, Mudoria, will be Tefi, you fulfill. Tefi, and you singular female, Yina ending. Tefina, Tefina. Two of you men fulfill will be Tefiani, Tefiani. And two of you female is the same. Tefiani. You address three men or more, three or more of you men, you will say Tefuna. Again, ya, yeah, which is the third root letter, has been deleted. Tefuna. And addressing three or more women, you will say you, three or more women, fulfill would be Tefina. Tefina. And same, uh, first person is Afi. A man and a woman will say the same thing. Afi. And we, two or more, we say Nafi. We start with the noon. And no gender involved. So, that's how you conjugate this type of verb complex split complex verb in the 
present tense المضارع let's now look at the uh, فعل أمر imperative so when you are uh, commanding a single male in front of you using this verb you say في no yeah just one letter في with كسرة and in commanding a single woman you have two letters there في <laughs> that's fascinating that's good في Fulfill your promise. Fee! <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. What, what about when you are commanding two men uh, or using this verb? So it's coming from tefiyani. So become fia. Fia. Noon is gone. Fia. And it's the same for uh, commanding two women as well. You say fia. What about commanding three or more men using this verb? You say, remember that's coming from tefuna. Just say, fu. Fu. <laughs> that's sad. I like the sound. Fu. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, commanding three women or more using this verb, and that is coming from tefina. You just say, fina. You, 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 you keep the known, fina. So the imperative is fi, fi, fia, fia, fu, fina. Now, let's use another verb to illustrate the conjugation of the type of verbs. Split complex, la fi fu mafruq. Using the verb walia. Wa at the beginning and ya as a third root letter. So, waliya means he came after. She came after would be waliyat. Two men came after would be waliya with the alif of a uh, duo. And two women came after would be waliyata. We are doing so well. And three men or more would be walu. Walu. And three women or more came after will be Walina. Walina. So the table of that will be Walia, Waliyat, Waliya, Waliyata, Walu, and Walina. Okay. The second person speaking directly to people. You singular male came after would be walita, and you singular female would be waliti. Two of you men came after walituma, and two of you female came after is walituma. Three or more of you male came after is walitum. And three or more of you female came after is Walituna. Okay, that's Walita, Waliti, Walituma, Walituma, Walitum, Walituna. Okay, and one person or oh, the, the speaker would be Walitu. And no gender involved. A man and a woman will say the same thing. Walitu. Two or more of us will be walina, regardless of whether men or women are speaking. You say walina, we came after. Brilliant. Now, that's past tense. Let's move to present tense of this verb, walia. So the present tense is yeli. So yeli, he comes after yeli. She comes after will be Tali. And uh, two men come after will be Yeliani. Any ending. And two women come after will be Teliani. Three men or more uh, come after will be Yeluna. Yeluna. And three women or more come after would be Yelina. So Yeli, Teli, Yeliani, 
Italiani ja Luna ja Lina. Okay. <laughs> Second person in the uh, uh, present tense of this verb would be ta 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 at the beginning. So tali that's mean you singular male. Tali uh, come after and for uh, you singular female is ina ending telina singular female you telina and two of you men will be teliani and it's the same for two of you female teliani three or more of you men will be teluna and three or more of you female will be telina so that table is Teli, Telina, Teliani, Teliani, Teluna, and Telida. Yes, it's uh, the first person plural, I and mean, the first person uh, present tense of this verb will be Ali, and it's the same for a man and for a woman. And we, Nali, it's for a group of men talking about themselves or group of women talking about themselves, Nali. All right, what about the imperative command, Fel Amor? Fel Amor is coming from the second uh, person, of course. So for a man, if you say you follow, you next, would be Lee, just Lam and Kesra. <laughs> Lee, yes, Lam and Kesra. And if you are instructing or commanding a single, um, female using this verb would be li, lam kesra and ya, li. Okay, and instructing or commanding two men, you say liya, and it's the same for commanding two women, liya as well. <laughs> yes, and uh, commanding three men or more would be lu. Yes, <laughs> lu, lu. <laughs> and uh, uh, commanding three women or more is Lina. Lina. So, Li, Li, Lia, Lia, Lu, Lina. Yes! So that's conclude the uh, templates for conjugating a split complex verb. Al Fialu, Al Mortal, Al Lafif. Al Mafruq. And uh, we've done it in the past tense, Fi'al Madi, and in the present tense, Fi'al Mudari, and Fi'al Amr, the imperative. Well done. And as I see you next lesson when we're going to do the um, complex verb. This time is called adjacent complex verb. Lafifun Makroon. Do your study for me. We are making progress. We nearly now finish book five, maybe two more lessons or so, and we'll be able to move to book six at last. All right then, see you next time. Ma'asalama, ila liqa fi amalillah.